Hello, Dr. James Bogash, publisher of Modern Health Myths, and today we're going to talk about something that I have been saying since the very beginning, uh, but we now actually have a study that actually supports the idea that vapors and cigarette smokers, obviously cigarette smokers, but vapors, e-cigarette users, have a drastically increased risk of having some type of interaction with COVID. It makes sense. Last year we were all worried about some weird lung injury and symptoms we were having in vapors. And um, so it would make sense that we've completely forgotten about that, but the vaping has a unquestionably bad effect on the lungs. And so it would make sense that, that patients or people who are vapors are gonna have problems, more problems with COVID. So certainly uh, in this particular study, looking at young adults, so uh, about 40, 4,300, almost 4,400 people from um, 13 to 24 years of age where they looked at vapors and dual users. So people using e-cigarettes as well as combustible cigarettes and people that use both of them. So a couple things that they found was that the likelihood of a COVID diagnosis was um, five times higher in e-cigarette users. In um, dual users, it was 6.8 times higher. So people that smoked and vaped, which is not uncommon, people um, try using vaping to get quitting smoking and they end up just being dual users. So 6.8, so both of those much higher risk of just being um, diagnosed with COVID. So uh, but that makes sense. We know that those both of those behaviors drastically affect the lungs and we'll probably increase your risk. We know that vaping increases your risk of getting a bacterial infection. So why would it not make sense for a viral infection to be able to seed itself in the lungs? Totally makes sense. And we actually see that being supported here. Um, as far as testing, which I thought this was interesting, they looked at people um, who were dual users were nine times more likely to get tested and um, e-cigarette users were 2.6 times more likely to get tested. So again, a much greater incidence of people just getting tested, which I thought was interesting. Um, it may have to do with the idea that somebody's got a little bit of a cough and if they're a vapor or cigarette smoke, cigarette, um, combustible cigarette user, that may lead their, maybe they're a little bit more sensitive and, and deep in their brain, they know that vaping is not good for them and it's going to increase the risk of COVID and maybe they're more likely to get tested. Um, I can only guess on that, but that was definitely something. As far as having symptoms, so we all hear that a huge chunk of the population is asymptomatic, less likely for that to happen if you're a vapor or a smoker. Um, they were um, 4.7 times more likely to have symptoms if somebody was a dual user, uh, so smoker and vapor, um, to have symptoms. But again, that makes sense. I've had this conversation with people that are vapors and they think that they're protected. They're, well, I wear a mask and I have a plexiglass shield and I um, hide out in a cave most of the day. Trust me, in the long run, it's not going to matter. You just need to accept that your vaping is going to increase your risk of all types of respiratory infections. If you can't see that, then there's a big problem. If you can accept that and know that as a vapor that you are at increased risk and just accept that, then that's the most deep I can ask of anybody. But to live uh, blindly thinking that you're not increased risk or that you are protecting yourself, that is just not true. It's not going to happen. And you are absolutely at increased risk. So um, as always, I will post a link to this particular study in the comments section. And make sure you like this video, share it with somebody who you think needs this information, and subscribe to the channel.